Shalom family, good morning. I am about to head to work this morning and I didn't, my video got cut off yesterday when I was talking about um, the book of Judges and Deborah. So I wanted to go in a little bit more on that. What I meant by Deborah knew her boundaries and she knew her womanhood and, and she knew that she couldn't have authority over men, which means like with Barack, she never confronted him in public. She always took him in private and talked with him and encouraged him. She was married. That's one of the things you have to be married, widowed, a virgin. You have to be someone like that to be a prophet. And she was also not only a leader, she was a prophet. And come to find out, guys, the more and more I dug into Deborah and the book of Judges, she was not the one that took down who Barack wants. She told Barack that you're not going to be the one that's going to take him down. It's going to be a woman. And I thought it was Deborah that did this, but it was actually a woman, um, J.L., J.L., what's her name? It started with a J., but she was the one that drove the, the tent stake through his head and killed him. But she was a prophet. She could prophesy events that, and they would come to pass. And she was also a leader. God chooses who he wants, whether they be in high up places or low places or, you know, ordinary people like you and I. If he wants to get his message out there, that's what he's going to do. He's going to use people. But it has to be ordained by God. There's a lot of women nowadays that want to rule over men that are not ordained by God. That was my point. And there's a lot of women that will never submit to a man, and that's why they continue to stay single, or they have broken marriages and relationships, or they never have children. A lot of them is because they can never submit to a man. They'll never submit to God, and they'll never submit to a man. And I don't mean submitting to abuse. Let, let me let me make that clear. I don't want some woman, oh, she wants you. No, I don't mean to submit to abuse. You submit to a godly man. You don't submit to an ungodly man or ungodly authority. I mean, that would be like me saying, and, you know, when you get to the book of Revelation, you're going to submit to the Antichrist, which will be a man. So, no, you don't just submit to, to any man. The man has to be of God. He has to be, be a godly man. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty much, you know, that's going to blow up in your face. But Deborah is something that we, yeah, we should look up to. She was a very strong woman. She motivated men who had, you know, no faith. They didn't even have a mustard seed of faith. And she brought these men up and encouraged these men to go to battle. God loved her. God used her. So, I think women, and, and when, you, when they hear this, they think, well, we're unworthy, we're below men. No. God, we're... We're equal when it comes to love, but man has authority and has a duty above woman. And that's been put on them since the beginning of time. You can go back as far as Adam and Eve if you need to. But the book of Judges is a really cool book in the Bible. You should read it, study it. Um, like I said, I was wrong for a long time. You know, I thought it was Deborah that put the, the tent stake through the um, dude's head. But no, she prophesied that happening, and it came to pass. But she, like I said, she would never go against the authority of God. She knew she couldn't battle. She knew there were certain things back in that time that she couldn't do. But she still led and judged Israel. I mean, come on. But she didn't overstep her boundaries as a woman.
and a lot of a lot of times today, that's what you see. You see women; they want to. They be a lot of them want to be more powerful than men. You know, they want they want to be on top. Got to make more money. Got to have this. Got to be. You know, a lot of them want to rule nations. And there again, I'm not saying that's such a bad thing, but is that woman a woman of God? Because I tell you one thing, whatever y'all think this is in there right now, that is not a woman of God. I mean, if anything, she's like the whore of Babylon. I mean, she was described in the book of Revelation. Look what that woman was wearing when she get, I mean, purple and pearls. Come on, y'all. I ain't even trying to be funny either. There will be a fall of Babylon, and when it happens, you want to be right with the Lord. You want to be on the right side of things. Otherwise, you're going to, like, you know, pretty much perish in an abyss. Because this earth will pass away. And there will be a new earth that will come from the heavens. All these things must come to pass. I mean, in the book of Matthew, he tells us, you know, you will hear rumors of wars, but don't be troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Stay encouraged this morning, family. I know it's Monday. we got a long week ahead of us, but with the Most High God, we're going to see through it. But sisters, I love you very much, but... There's some of y'all that are in the church and that are teaching things that you shouldn't be teaching. I pray that you take it to God and that you read the scriptures in your spirit and not in your flesh. Because, yeah, some of those scriptures make us feel some type of way. That's the point. The book is not always meant to, to make you feel all good inside. Sometimes you need conviction. Sometimes you need to be corrected. And you need to understand the duties of a woman and in a biblical woman, if that's what you're striving to be. Because the way God looks at it, he can't stand a lukewarm. He'll spit you out his mouth. You're either with him or you're not with him. But you can't change his word to make you feel more comfortable about things. All right, family. Uh, get your coffee, man. I love you guys. Take care. Later.